everybody, welcome back to another uh, one of our uh, videos in our series or tutorials uh, for Driver Watch Systems GPS tracking and fleet management platform. Today we are going to be talking about the reports within our system, uh, how we would go about running a report, how we would go about uh, scheduling a report to be emailed to us on a regular basis, uh, that, those kind of things. So right now we're looking at our dashboard. Uh, and of course we have our five tabs across the top of our screen here. The dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into the system. Uh, then we've got our tracking, our routing, geofence, and the reports tab. So since we're going to be talking about reports in this video, we'll go ahead and we will left click over top of reports right here. And then that brings us to our, the reports that we've already established here in our system. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and do a, a brand new report, which we're, we're going to do for this example, we would left click over top of our report template. Uh, and then it brings up our six headings, which we have 24 different reports total within these headings. Uh, alert, driver, fleet, uh, and then of course, uh, point of interest reports, security, and tracking reports. All of these are, have very good reports already established in the, in, uh, underneath them, and you just access them by clicking over top of those reports. Uh, trip report is a good one, start, stop, summary is a good one. Uh, under the alert reports, we can go in and we can do a configured alert report. This would be great if well, we want wanted to see how many uh, unauthorized use events we had in a certain time period for our vehicles. Uh, how many people had uh, harsh braking warnings uh, generated for a certain time frame. This would be one of the reports uh, we would use to gather all of that information. And of course we've got uh, mileage reports, uh, driver summary reports, uh, fleet driver history. We'll go ahead and we'll do a mileage report. So I'll just left click over top of that uh, name right there, the mileage report. That brings us to our, uh, we have four different options in here now uh, of how to customize this report. This is our available data columns. We have within the report, we would have the option of having date, the group of the vehicle, which vehicle, the driver name, assigned to that vehicle, distance, or fuel usage. Uh, you do not have to have all of these uh, in, your, in the report. You can go ahead and click off any of them at any point in time. So driver, we'll go ahead and click that one off. We went ahead and we removed driver. So now we'll go ahead and click next, and that takes us to number two, which is our filters. Here we can do our date range. Uh, if you wanted to just see today, last 24 hours, customize any time period we already have in here, uh, or you could do the custom time period. Custom time period, you set up the start and stop time for this. Uh, we could say we want to see the 1st of January 2016 through the, say we can do the 15th of January 2015. Uh, so it's now set up to start 1st of January, first thing in the morning, uh, through the end of the 15th, the very end of the day before it becomes the 16th. So 11, uh, 59 p.m. Then we will come down to our groups. We can run our groups for all four of our groups, or we could just go ahead and do just one of them. Uh, and since we only have vehicles in assigned to DWS vehicles right now, we will go ahead and use that group, and then we'll click off the vehicle that is assigned to that group. If there was more, they would have populated down here. Then we've got our thresholds. Uh, stop time needs to be more than 10 minutes. The movement time, 10 minutes as well, so we'll leave those in there. We can make them less if you choose, more if you choose. So uh, fully customizable to your specs. Then ignition sensor when available. We, it is a vehicle, it is wired to the ignition, so we will use the ignition sensor uh, on this report, so we click that one off. Now bottom right corner and click on the next button. That brings us to our display options. Uh, the grid, you need to see the grid because that's where the information is shown within the report. We also have the option of showing a chart. Uh, we have a bar graph, line graph, or pie graph. Uh, you can choose whichever one you want. You can go ahead and just do a line graph at this time. Uh, and then we could have our x-axis will be the date, our y-axis will be the distance, and we'll just keep it under minutes. Click next, and that'll take us to what we would like this report to be named. We want this report to be named the mileage report for January. I already had done it, so it already populated there, but for January 1st through the 15th. 
and if we wanted to change the description of the report, we could do so right here. We can leave that the way it is for now. Uh, now we have the option of just previewing it. If you wanted to preview the report just to make sure we entered the right information to get to get the right report, we could go ahead and preview it here without saving it, uh, or, we, or since it's the default is to save and run, we'll just leave it there, uh, and it'll come down to the bottom right here, corner here, and we will finish this report, left click over top of it. Now the report is being generated for us right now. I'll go ahead and scan this, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so here's our report. This is the graph we were talking about. We have the distance on the y-axis uh, and then of course time and date stamp here for on the x-axis uh, and showing us the mileage. Now we can see right away just by looking at this since there's a large spike here in mileage that may be something you want to take note of. Uh, is it something that is a legitimate use of the vehicle? Is it something that was not uh, uh, scheduled, uh, you know, it's something that you may want to go ahead and take a look at to make sure it was an appropriate use of that vehicle. Next, we would go ahead uh, up here. We can at, at the very top of the screen. We go ahead and scroll to page two of the report. Always, you'll always know how many uh, pages are in the report up here. So we're now on page two of two, and this is the grid. So this information here is exactly what we, the, the columns that we had originally established. We said that we didn't want the driver, so the driver name has been excluded from this report. But we have the date, the group the item, which is the vehicle, the distance driven, there's our uh, 564 mile day, and the fuel used for that specific day. Uh, now this is based on the calculation of 21 miles per gallon, which we've assigned to the system for this vehicle. It's not assumed uh, we had to enter that. We know that our vehicle gets 21 miles to the gallon, so we went ahead and we put that in the system and all the reports that will be generated based on that computation. At the bottom of the report, we have our totals, uh, 942.17 miles driven for that vehicle for that two-week period, and total fuel consumed for that two-week period as well. So this report has been saved. Uh, if we wanted to export it, we can go ahead and export it to any of these formats here, uh, and or we can go ahead and save it uh, to our desktop if we wanted to. We can go ahead and close this now. So now we're back on under the reports tab. We're back under my reports. We've actually we've generated this report. We've made it our report. Uh, so we can see under here under our driver behavior reports the report that we had uh, just created. Uh, we had, I already had a report in here that I get on a regular basis. Uh, this was one I had generated not too long ago. We can go ahead and just delete that if we wanted to. Yep, we'll delete that report. And then, so now we have the report right there that we just created. There it is again, I clicked on it, so it just automatically created that report again with the options that we had put into it prior. Now, this is a very good report uh, that you would want to probably look at on a regular basis. You may not want to see always the same date of January 1st to the 15th, but in the tabs where we had set the option for dates, we could have said uh, the pr previous two-week period. So every time this is then generated, it will generate the information for the previous two weeks or previous month. Uh, now, if we wanted to see this report on a monthly basis, we could go ahead and just click on the schedule button right here, the, the uh, stopwatch. And that will bring up our subscription uh, report here. So you would type in what email address you would want to see, excuse me, you would want to send this report to. And you could do multiple uh, email addresses by dividing with, uh, with a uh, semicolon, excuse me. Uh, and then what would you like to the uh, email subject to be? And it would just be whatever you choose, scheduled report for mileage previous month. We want that report to come in with four different languages in which it could arrive. We leave English. We want it to come as a PDF, or we could also get it as a CSV. What time of day would you like to receive this report? Well, we're going to want it monthly, so let's go ahead and um, get it every at 5 o'clock in the morning. And then we're, our report schedule will be monthly. So if you choose monthly, it will be the first of the month to receive this report. If you choose weekly, it will come on a Monday morning, and if you choose daily, it's going to come every day. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave that at monthly, and then from this point, we just click save, and then boom, here you go. 
scheduled for 5 a.m. arrival monthly as a PDF to info at driverwatchsystems.com. That's as simple as it gets. Uh, that report now will come to your inbox, to info at driverwatchsystems.com inbox once a month. Uh, and unfortunately, we had set it up for January 1st through 15th, so it's going to come every month and show that same info. We could also change that just by going into the configure and change that to show the preceding month. Uh, and then you would get the total mileage and fuel consumption for that vehicle or the vehicles within that group for the uh, preceding month. It's as simple as that. Uh, if you have uh, an interest in learning more about how Driver Watch Systems can help your fleet save money and time, please feel free to get a hold of us in one of these three ways. Just go to our website, fill out our contact info, uh, driverwatchsystems.com. Uh, it's backslash contact slash us. Uh, or our phone number, 877-211-8515. Or just shoot us an email at info at driverwatchsystems.com. We look forward to talking with you real soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.